I'm Albi Benitez. And I'm Valerie Concepcion. And this is Game Changer. This episode of Game Changer. No, it's not an apparition. It's true. A cruise ship has finally made Manila its home port. And also setting up shop here, Women Who Code, the international group that encourages women to excel in technology. And yes, they are starting them young. This portion is brought to you by Las Casas Filipinas de Acusan. Let's face it, men continue to dominate in the field of information technology, but not if this group can help it. They call themselves Women Who Code. With 80,000 members in 20 countries, they are encouraging women to excel in technology. And they now have a chapter in Manila. Game Changer ventured south to Santa Cruz, Laguna. the Pagsawitan Elementary School, where students are eagerly awaiting the arrival of a guest teacher. You see, Michi Ang has a mission, to hold an hour of code, where kids are taught the basics of coding. I saw them how a computer thinks, how to think na dapat turuan mo lang yung computer para ma-execute yung mga gusto mong gawin. Para maka later maka-build ka ng sarili mong app, sarili mong website, and stuff. But what is coding? When you say uh, coding, programming, or developing, uh, these three terms are actually related to each other. When you say coding, in layman's term, you actually create or write the instruction in a language that can be understood by the computers. So let's just say you are cooking. Okay, so the instruction on how to cook things is actually the codes that we are actually coding or writing. Then, the output of that, the final product or the food, is actually the application. IT experts say coding is a fundamental skill like math and reading. All kids must have to be competitive in today's digital world. But Michi, a programmer, has a more specific gender in mind. She belongs to a group called Women Who Code, part of a global nonprofit organization that focuses on encouraging women to pursue excellence in the field of IT. I was able to experience Women Who Code in San Francisco. And then when I come back here, I said, why not do something like this here? Another programmer also had the same thing in mind. I usually attended some technical events, um, meetups, conferences, and nakikita ko kasi na medyo konti lang yung babae. I searched about women who code. Doon ko nakita na um, their goal is to empower women in technology. Michi and Ange, who didn't know each other back then, would soon be named co-directors of the group's chapter here. Thus, Women Who Code Manila was born. Launched last January, WW Code Manila now has more than 530 members. They meet every week for technical study groups. Professional programmers, hobbyists, and those who simply want to learn more about coding meet every week and share knowledge and skills about various programming codes. One of their sponsors is Atlassian Philippines. Women Who Code is not really a new name to Atlassian. You know, um, like in other offices, we are already supporting that organization because um, it per perfectly aligns with our mission. We share the same values. To boost WW Code Manila's morale, one of Atlassian's San Francisco executives gave the group some words of inspiration. Grace Francisco happens to be a Filipina who grew up in the U.S. Grace admits 
Even in the States, there are fewer women in the technology industry. Percentages are, are low, and they were lower than they were back in the 1980s. There's been some speculation that that drop was due to having home PCs um, started this trend where parents, for whatever reason, were only buying them for their sons, their boys. And so, you know, there was this bias that tech was for boys, even back then, that cultivated this group of people as adults that had more male programmers. So what advice can she give women who want to be successful in IT? You need to ask yourself, what is it that I'm really passionate about? And really just go and pursue that big passion because then it's not work. With support from the community, WW Code Manila is growing fast. And its members are excited about the possibilities. I am looking forward to the progress of this group, especially here in the Philippines. At first, I thought that it's very like a secluded or a very close community so this is a great start very excited um actually i'm torn kasi ang dami nang nakaline up na meetups but parang hindi mo alam kung ano yung unahin mo kasi i want to know everything back in laguna the kids are intently working on their tablets learning the fundamentals of coding through a child friendly app the school administration admits they are not as well funded as private schools. Bali meron lang kami 7 units ng computer. Yun yung binigay ng DepEd. Etong opportunity na to dumating sa amin, hindi namin inaasahan. Napakaganda ng tulong kasi at least na i-open namin ang mga may ng bata na magkaroon sila ng experience sa ganitong sa computer uh, coding. The lessons were a big eye-opener for the students, not to mention a lot of fun. Masaya po, nakaka-enjoy po. Kung paano po mag-create ng laro at kung paano po ano, i-edit po ito. Kasi po, para po sa future ko po, may, at least po may idea na po kung, kung balakin ko po man na makagawa, gumawa po ako ng app. Kids also learn the kind of attitude they have to adopt if they decide to pursue a career in IT. Kailangan po may fun din po dun sa app na gagawin. Mag-e-enjoy niyo po muna yung kung paano gawin, hindi yung seryosong seryoso. This early, some students already have ideas on what apps to develop when they become programmers in the future. Paglaki ko po, gusto ko po gumawa pa ng apps para po mas marami po yung mga apps na gagamitin ng iba pong mga bata. Yung para po matuto sila, yung mga numbers po, yung mga may letters, ganun po. The kids were able to participate in the lessons with minimum supervision. And their volunteer coding instructor for the day was quite impressed. Technology is the great equalizer. We must be tech-savvy as a nation to be more competitive in a world now heavy on technology. And teaching them young is the right step towards that direction. Up next, a cruise ship finally makes Manila its home port. When Game Changer returns. This portion was brought to you by Las Casas Filipinas de Acuzar. Midas Hotel and Casino, a contemporary, design-led lifestyle hotel in the majestic hub of Manila with fabulous views of sunset on the bay. Midas offers designer amenities and guest rooms and suites, supreme restaurant options for sumptuous enjoyment, event studios for corporate meetings and vows, and a casino with world-class gaming. Here at Midas, we make days into moments. Sparkling creativity, it's stylemanship by Midas.